Adding accessories to your side-by-side -side is expensive and buying one that doesn't work the way you thought it did is very frustrating. I'm going to quickly go over all the accessories we bought for our 2022 RMAX 4 1000 XDR and show you how they work. If you have the two-seater model, most of the accessories will be the same, and I'll let you know which ones are only for the four-seater when I go through them. Most of these are Yamaha accessories that I had the dealer put on before we picked up the machine. We'll start to the front or work our way to the back of the RMAX. The links to all these products will be in the description down below so you can easily find them. This model RMAX came with the Adventure Pro GPS, door-mounted SSV speakers and stereo system, and the worn winch. The accessories I'm going to talk about next are the ones we purchased to customize our RMAX. And sorry the gnats are bad, you can probably see them flying around on the screen. First is a Yamaha folding windshield. We like to feel the wind blowing as we're riding, so the folding windshield gives us maximum airflow when it's strapped down. And we have the ability to put it up when it's cold or raining. A lot of shorter people complain about the windshield fold being right in their field of view. My wife is 5 foot 6. The windshield fold is at least 4 inches below her line of sight. And I'm 6 foot 5. And the windshield, along with everything else in the machine, is not in my field of view. And next are the side mirrors. The RMAX comes with a rear view mirror. These are the assault side mirrors and I order them through the Yamaha dealer. When you order them, you must also select the correct size of clamps to fit the 2 inch roll cage. The mirrors hold their position through the bumps and brushing up against trees. I like this vertical mirror better than the horizontal ones because they stay tighter to the machine. Mirrors that stick out a long ways will get caught on trees easily and you have to readjust them a lot. The Yamaha folding windshield works with these assault mirrors. We also own a 2018 Viking 6 Ranch Edition side-by-side. -side. The first mirrors I purchased for that side-by-side -side didn't work with the Yamaha folding windshield. The clamp was large and didn't allow the windshield to close correctly. So if you'll be buying both mirrors and a windshield for your side-by-side, -side, you'll want to confirm they work together. The Yamaha LED light bar is something we thought we needed and didn't, but we're really glad we have it. We were used to the Yamaha Viking headlights, which I will compare to a dim flashlight. That side-by-side -side needs a light bar to see anything at night, so I assumed the headlights would be the same in the RMAX. The RMAX factory headlights are awesome by themselves, and when I turn on the light bar with them, it lights up the entire area like Clark Griswold's house at Christmas. With this light bar, I can see far ahead, so I don't have to worry about coming up on obstacles too fast or not seeing a deer in the road. The LED light bar was harder for me to order because it seemed like a lot of money. After I saw it installed in the RMAX, I realized a custom wiring kit is a huge added value. I was afraid the wire would be ran down by the windshield like the aftermarket light bars I saw, and I would have to fight with it every time I clamped the windshield up. Instead, the Yamaha LED light bar kit has the wire hidden through the roof, then it comes down the middle bar where it is out of the way. I'm very impressed with this wiring kit. It took me a minute to find the wires when I was looking for them, so they're definitely not in the way. Now the cab heater is my wife's favorite accessory. Obviously, with having an open cab, it's not going to be like sitting by a wood stove. The heater gives enough hot air to take the chill off, even with the windshield folded down. There are two vents you can adjust, one on the driver and one on the passenger side. My wife can have hers open to stay warm on a cool day, and I can have mine stay shut and I can't feel any heat coming out of my vent. You flip the switch down for low or up for high, the middle position is off. When the windshield is up and being used, you can feel the heat better, and it has the froster holes built into the windshield so the window won't fog up when we get caught in the rain on a cold day. The heaters are a big job to install, and I'm happy I didn't have to do it. The blower motor is mounted under the driver's seat, and there's ductwork running through the dash to the vents, and it's tied into the cooling system. I was worried at first when the fan was off, the heat would still be coming out of the vents, and it would make it miserable in the summertime. That's not the case at all. I don't feel any heat coming out of these vents unless I turn the heater fan on. Next is the front and rear brush guards. To me, these make the machine look tough and give it added protection. I don't have to worry about driving through brush if I need to go off the trail. The front guard wraps around tight, but it does require a little plastic to be trimmed, otherwise it bolts right on. And I feel the back brush guard is necessary because it would look bare with just the front one on. And the rear brush guard is going to be different between a two and a four seater. Underneath the front fenders, there's some areas that can collect a lot of mud and make cleaning very time consuming. I purchased mud busters from Amazon and they fully block off the fender well area. The kit came with all the fasteners to install it and there's no holes to drill so the installation was quick. The hardest part was getting the bent plastic on the passenger side to line up in the holes. And the other accessories on the bottom are what I would call Under Armour. These include a front skid plate, the front and rear A-arm guards, and the rock sliders. Not only do these make the machine look great, 
They provide protection from rocks, mud, and trees from damaging the machine. I don't want to be broke down on the trail because a stick got wedged up in the axle shaft. They are made of heavy duty aluminum that's 1 8 inch thick, so I'm not worried about them getting beat up over time like the plastic ones do. You will have to remove the front plastic skid plate to put the aluminum one on, otherwise they bolt right up. All of these protective pieces work on both the two and the four seater models, except the rock sliders will be different. While I'm going through these, if you have a favorite accessory for your Yamaha R-Max, drop a comment down below. Now this cargo box is unique to the four seater. If you didn't know, the cargo box doesn't lift and dump like the two seater does. To maximize space in a four seater, the back of the toolbox becomes a tailgate. To put this one in, the factory tailgate is removed and the cargo box goes in its place. There's bolts that turn in by hand to attach it down to the machine. There's lots of space inside this cargo box and everything is easy to access. The cargo box keeps things dry and out of the dust, but if the water's sitting on top of it and you pick the lid up, that water will come in behind and into the cargo box, so you have to be careful when it's raining. It doesn't have a built-in lock, but it does have a spot for a padlock. And a two-seater cargo box is going to be a completely different setup than a four-seater. Now let's talk about the whips and the rock lights. I purchased this kit from Vigilante Customs and installed it myself. Their products are great, but their online presence for researching and ordering is definitely lacking. If you have a question or want to place an order, it's best to call. I put these on for two reasons. First, my wife loves lights and wanted to look like a rolling dance party. And second, they also provide safety on the trail for other people to see us better. The setup is wired to be solid red when you hit the brakes, and you can flip a switch for turn signals and reverse lights. The system is truly synced together, which means the colors are in unison between the rock lights and the whips. You can also customize the colors and settings through the Bluetooth app on your phone. Now that might sound like a lot, but with their system, there's only one wiring harness to install, and there's one switch that turns on both the rock lights and the whips. Speaking of switches and wiring, Yamaha makes adding powered accessories very easy. There are a lot of switch location options. The rubber plug pops out and holds the size of a standard rocker switch. The machine is pre-wired for Yamaha branded accessories, and if you're putting in aftermarket accessories, you can get a plug that connects in the factory harness that you can splice onto for your power needs. If you're looking for more videos on a Yamaha RMX 4-seater, you want to check out one of these playlists next.